Hello gamers! Uh, welcome back to Minecraft! RTX Survival, yes! Um, no intro today, we are just going to get straight into things. We're, we're going to have some fun and we're going to go, go do some mining, I hope. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> um, I have been busy. I have been doing a bunch of things in this little town of mine. Town. I keep on calling it a town. It's not a town. It's a village. Anyway, so I've been busy in this little village of mine, um, doing some upgrades and some basic things. And I'll quickly give you a little tour of the town. This is now my house. Um, you can see it's almost morning. If you remember, there's that awesome um, ruined portal that we found in the previous episode. And yes, I started growing some sugarcane over here. This was one of the patches of wheat that was growing around randomly. Um, in the previous, ep excuse me, in the previous episode, we found some bamboo and I planted the bamboo over here so that we can start harvesting some bamboo and start gr so making some um, scaffolding. Yes. So, like I said, I've been busy. What I, yeah, I started farming some oak trees over here. All of the little wheat plantations, I decided I was going to remove the, um, all of the pumpkins and the um, melons from on these wheat plantations and just make, turn them into wheat only. Now, oh, moo. Okay. As you can see, I started a little cow pen. Ooh, thank you for the experience. Little trick. If you put a carpet on top of one of these fence posts, it's an easy way for you to get in and out of the pen and the animals can't escape. So that's quite cool. Um, yes. I also started cleaning up a little bit of the town. Um, some of these buildings jut out very extremely, so I gave them like a little bit of a cobblestone base. Um, I also made a bunch of beds um, and I started, yeah, I started this little, uh, I don't know, pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Um, this is something only South African kids will remember. Uh, the show Pumpkin Patch. Ugh, it was hor Well, I guess if you're a five-year-old child, you love it, but I have, yeah, yeah, I can't say I like it at the moment. Anyway, Pumpkin Patch, yes. Um, but it's a mixture of pumpkins and melons. Those are all of the melons and pumpkins I found around here um, that I just moved to that pumpkin patch. Yes, like I said, um, all of these little houses that jut out and buildings that jut out, I gave them a, a proper base so that they look a little bit more realistic. Otherwise it was just like a dirt block sticking out of the landscape. It didn't really look natural. Um, in the previous episode, I, I built this composter and I finally have a villager to trade with with well a farmer villager I maxed out his level by getting a bunch of um, well firstly wheat and then pumpkins and melons this house I, I also created a bit of a base for I dug out these two houses so that they are a little bit more exposed this one was very deeply buried into the mountain and now at least it's a little bit more decent. Um, I put a bunch of beds in some of the houses. Well, if I found a house without a bed, I put a bed in it and the villagers eventually started to breed, which is great. So even like this guy, for instance, he doesn't have a, um, a profession at all. So that's good. Um, I can create some professions. Well, some, you can see this guy, this guy is so full, right? Um, he, he pretends to um, harvest the wheat, but he just leaves the wheat on the ground. I think his inventory is so full that he can't do anything anymore. <laughs> so I just go around picking up what he leaves on the ground. It's horrible. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, yes, I need to create some crafting stations or some profession blocks, like the fletching table. This guy's a fletcher. Um, it's quite cool to have some fletchers. You can give them some sticks to in exchange for emeralds, and that's a very, very good way of upping the, um, well, getting some emeralds real fast. This pumpkin patch of mine is uh, really producing a lot of stuff, uh, which is good. I have another farmer that I want to level up to the max level. It's a good way for me to get some emeralds, because once I get this villager, the librarian, up to speed, I will be needing them to buy some enchanting books. Hopefully mending, but for that I want, first I want um, to be able to craft a piston as well as get some slime to make that piston into a sticky piston. Yes, first I want to show you this pumpkin patch, oh not pumpkin patch, this another farm up here which I discovered. I also, it was also sticking out like with a, just a dirt block going all the way up, so I gave it sort of a cobblestone foundation and then I ended up using the same technique as the rest of the village. I put um, uh, acacia logs with the texture facing up um, and I lined it all the way around except for the corners and then I gave it a nice little um, fence around it to make sure that the villager is safe and I also put gave him a composter over here. You will see he is actually a farmer and I locked him into a potato trade. So he will always want potatoes, which is great. I want to give him some potatoes. Uh, but I will need to create an alternative pumpkin patch. Well, pumpkin patch. What is it with me and pumpkin patches today? I don't know. Anyway, I will have to create my own little... Um, oh, no, he started growing wheat. Shit. Oh, no. He's a wheat farmer now. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> you have betrayed me, sir. What's wrong with you? Why 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 don't you make potatoes for me? I had a deal with you to create potatoes and now you've started growing wheat. Boo, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> anyway, he was supposed to be planting potatoes in this little field, but clearly he decided to rather do wheat instead. Oh well. Okay. And then the same thing happened with these little houses. I upgraded them and gave them a nice stone base. Well, these are a little bit different because they're sort of like on the cliff face. So I also gave them sort of a stone um, foundation and I gave them a little bit of a boundary of oak, oak logs um, and uh, not oak logs. It's acacia logs and acacia fences um, so that I think this is the actual house that the librarian uses. But anyway, we in the previous episode, we also found this little hole. I intend to just close this up a little bit so that the villagers don't go in here. Because I have found that some of the villagers actually fall down here and can't get up. Um, I'll show you what these things look like from the other side, from the dock. What What is at the moment the dock? So yes, let's go to the dock. I'm just gonna run there real fast. Ooh, look at how quickly these pumpkins grow. It's crazy. I don't mind it at all. Give me the pumpkins and the melons. So yes, luckily the villager started um, ooh, before I do anything. It's almost time to go sleep. So I'm quickly gonna go sleep. I'm gonna steal this guy's bed so yeah sorry guy i am so sorry i know it's not night time yet it should be night time if the villager is sleeping it should definitely be night time. there we go <laughs> um anyway so i've been busy just trying to clean up the um village getting things a little bit neater 
So I dug these houses out as well. But um, what I want to show you is that I want to sh show you the, the houses from this side. So these two were on sort of a cliff face and they were sort of just on these little dirt bits. So I gave them as well like a stone base so that it looks a little bit more natural. I know they jut out, but at least it makes a little bit more sense to me now. If, yeah, I think they look pretty cool. I'm happy with them. And they also have a bit of a fence around them so that the villagers don't fall off. And uh, this is that original dock that we landed on when we um, traveled here from the east. Yes. So that's east, that's north, that's west, that's south. And this is the other little house, um, which I think the librarian uses. I, I like the way the stone sort of, the cobblestone just sort of, juts out instead of it being dirt the dirt looked so unnatural i really need to replace that single block with um, either an acacia log well no i need to replace it with cobblestone and i'm going to do that right now <laughs> welcome welcome no intros just straight into the game today uh, i think that's a better way of doing things because it's fun um, so what I want to do today is I want to, uh, uh, let's quickly break this. I want to go do some mining. And I think we will need to do some, some preparation if we intend to go mining. Um, we will definitely need to do some preparation by at least getting some uh, stuff together for our mining session, which will include stuff like uh, a furnace, a crafting bench, and so on. I still might dig this out a little bit, but yes, I'm running a little bit low on iron and stuff like that. So that's what I intend to do today is go and do some mining and see if I can find some diamonds, hopefully. Let's, let's say that's the aim for this episode. Let's hope to find some diamonds in the deep depths of 1.19, well, 1.18 cave generation. Let's, and these caves can become very hectic. Very, very hectic indeed. Uh, let's just clear up my inventory real quick. And I want to... Um, Go and replace that thing. Where did I put my acacia logs? There we are. Yes. So, let's go do that. Yeah, I'm happy with the way the town is going on. Once I um, put a bunch of beds in the um, various houses, the villagers started... Um, Making babies. Um, I was happy to see that they just started making babies. Um, and this guy keeps on throwing bread at the other um, villagers, this guy, which is good. That's his job. He's a farmer. He's supposed to make food. Um, and I'm glad. And just cover your ears real quick. Look at them go. Look at them go. <laughs> the silly villagers. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to just finish this up. Great. Uh, what is that? Uh, oh, yes. Um, the only other thing I haven't shown you is uh, my sheep. I create, well, I created those. Um, fletching tables so that I can get a couple of fletchers and I created this little sheep pen um, as similar to what I did for the cows over there I created a little sheep pen and the iron golem decided to join the sheep um, and I did the little carpet trick here as well to get into this place yo there's a kitty cat hello kitty cat where are you off to? Why are you running? Don't run away from me. Come back. Come back. 
Hello Kitty Cat. Okay, so I did that. I also did a bit of um, fishing. I made a fishing rod with some string and some sticks and I ended up um, just fishing until I found um, or fished out a saddle for the horse. If you remember, there was a horse in here and it ended up being a pretty decent horse. horse. It's, it's not a slow horse and it, it can at least jump a little bit. And I think a horse in this... Um, yeah, it's very important to have a horse in this um, version of Minecraft. 1.18's hills are so extreme, so it's very difficult to traverse the whole place if we don't have a horse. The only thing is um, the rivers are also a lot bigger, so horses don't really do well with rivers. So it's the, that's the only problem. So I just want to put away all of this stuff so that we can get... We need a boat. We also need a bed. Let's quickly make a bed. I think I have some white wool over here. Um, I have enough wood. Bed. Thank you very much. We also want a crafting table. Do I want to create one or do... No, I'll create one. It's fine. Hmm. So a crafting table. One crafting table, thank you very much. One furnace, thank you very much. I have some of that. I don't need that much. Um, I'm going to leave some of the wood here because um, I don't need that much wood. I need, I need a, a fair amount, but I need torches more than anything else. So I've got a bed, some food, uh, a boat, some cobblestone, if I need to pillar up on something, put some coal. It's always important to, to bring a stack of wood, um, oak logs or any logs with you and the tools you will need. I always leave the hoe and the fishing rod and even the shears. Mm, I'm going to bring the shears along for the slight, maybe small chance that we might encounter some um, glow lichen. Glow lichen is one of those like glowy little um, things in 1.18 like stuff that generates light or emits light in this especially in RTX is so so cool so if I see some glow lichen I might want to bring it along and a bucket of water is always essential and um, you will see my poor pickaxe is basically dead um, I will uh, I have a backup and that's why I'm bringing the furnace because I don't have, if I find some iron, I can mine it and I can smelt it as well. And at the moment, I'm just waiting for the sun to set, which might take a while. Um, but I was thinking maybe I should quickly first go show you the ruined portal. I think that's a really cool thing to go and have a look at. See the, um, how interesting the lighting is under the water. It's very cool. Let me take a sip of water, oh, coffee quick. Dirty bean juice. While I'm, yeah, I put, now I'm sort of like freaking out. Is my audio working? I'm sure my audio is working fine. Anyway, I've also mined a bunch of stone off of this bit of the, this plateau that I'm on or this stony shore. Um, this is not stone, this is andesite, which I don't mind. Is it andesite? What is, hmm, I can't remember. What is this? Dorite, that is andesite, yes, okay. Um, I don't mind the andesite so much. The dorite is a very harsh texture. texture. A lot of Minecraft players don't like using it that much. But anyway, once um, we've woken up uh, from, well, once the sun rises tomorrow morning, we will set out on our little adventure to go and check out that thing. And maybe if we find some caves over there, we might just explore them while we're there. And I'm sure we will find some caves. If I'm not mistaken, I saw some caves like literally on these cliff faces. So, yes, I just love how Minecraft RTX looks it's always so freaking fantastic um but yes um a villager might pop in here 
and come and try and steal our bed. But anyway. But yes, I've at least got 32 emeralds. Like I said, my iron reserves are very low. And I destroyed a lot of the brewing stands and just left one. Because I don't just want clerics. I want a bunch of different villagers. I did already go to the, um, the ruined portal. That's where I got all of those magma blocks. Um, just to make it safe. Because if you walk over magma blocks, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Okay, cool. Let's go exploring. I'm so excited. It's going to be fun. Let's just get into the water with our boat. Bloop, bloop. There we go. Um, so I, it's, with these cliff faces, it's sometimes really difficult to find a good spot to get up onto the you know, the land. I mean, look at these. These are very sheer cliff faces, right? There's no way I'm jumping up on those. But there might be some decent climbable ones over here. And it should be a lot of fun. I should really come and get some jungle wood. Jungle wood is a lot nicer to farm than the others. I've been really struggling with um, oak. It's like really not the most the easiest of timbers to well, trees to farm. Eh, do you think we're gonna There we go. I think we're on top of it now. Okay. Huh? There's a bird. Wait. Drama. Drama, drama, drama. It's a bird. It's a parakeet. I want it. I need seeds. Give me seeds. I want seeds. Give me seeds. Seeds. <laughs> drama. Now I won't get a single seed. Huh? Seeds. Okay, if this parakeet or bird, whatever, becomes mine from one seed, then I know it's mine. Okay, at least I have two seeds now. Okay, birdie, please be mine, please be mine. Yay, you're mine! <laughs> Sweet. Look, it'll follow me now. It's gonna be the cutest thing. Cute! Okay, it's sitting on my shoulder. Um, okay, I jumped, so it, it'll it'll get off of my shoulder. Ooh, there's some coal. I need this. I want to show you what it looks like. I know um, F1 is taking away that, but I can't remember what is the keyboard shortcut for. Um, hello, come sit on my shoulder. Okay, there you are. Um, what is the keyboard shortcut for? For I can't remember. Um, let me Google it quickly. Um, because <laughs> it's cute. I want to show you. <laughs> um, you can hear it chirping. Um, the cool thing about the birds are, if there's a monster nearby, they will mimic the sound of the monster to warn you. Hmm. F5. Ha! There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Hello. Gamers. Okay, now if I jump too much, it'll fall off of me. Isn't he cute? I'm so happy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, he can follow me for a little bit while I show you the stuff around here. I saw that there was a big hole here. Oh, that's a nice cliff. There's some jungle trees over there. I'm not going to worry too much about the trees right now. But this, this, ladies and gentlemen, 
boys and girls, this is a ruined portal. Like you can see, I removed a bunch of the, the blocks, the magma blocks for safety. There might be some lava underneath this. Yes, my birdie. Hello. I like you. <laughs> um, so all this, this is almost a completely intact um, portal. So I just need that one stone in the middle to complete it. And then I can um, give you some more food. Okay, you don't want more food. Um, if I give it that one final block, I can go to the nether. And like I mentioned in the previous episode, I've never been to the nether in Minecraft RTX. I've seen other people do it. And it looks incredible. So hopefully we can do that soon. Uh, I'm wondering if I shouldn't take the birdie home. I will take the birdie home just now. Um, but first, check out that cave and look at those mountains. Okay, so those are proper, proper stony peaks like Minecraft um, biome stony peaks. And the nice thing about stony peaks is it's the only place where you can get naturally generated calcite apart from the calcite that generates around a um, around a geode and I have not found a geode in um, one one point eighteen yet you, yeah I've found I've I've been into geodes and I found a couple of geodes in one point seventeen but not in 1.18. I'm so glad this <laughs> birdie is following me. It's so cool. <laughs> Where are you? You're going to come and sit? Come and sit on me. Sit on me. Oh, there you go. But you see, if I jump too much, he's going to... I think if I run... Oh, no, he's on me. Ah, oh, ha, ha, look at that. He's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, stay on me. I think every time you jump, there's a chance that you will fall off of your shoulder. Or every time you... No, okay, well, there we go then. He's here. I did see a bee. We will have to get some bees very shortly. Um, another tell telltale sign that this is a mountain biome, a proper mountain biome, is the fact that there are there is exposed iron in the cliff faces like this and I definitely need the iron so I'm gonna mine it so instead of caving I'm <laughs> mountaineering apparently but we'll get to some caves the caves are spectacular in RTX like unbelievably beautiful okay I knew that was gonna happen so at least I've got some iron now I've got seven iron ore the quicker I can get um, Fortune 3 on a pickaxe, the better. Because Fortune 3 will make sure that I get way more of this. Oh, wow. There's so much iron in this. That's awesome. I might not even have to go caving. I will. For sure. Um... Simply, simply, even if it's just to show everyone how cool the um, caves look. Because they are really spectacular. What would be even better if we could find um, a skeleton spawner close to our base. That would be the best. Um, a skeleton spawner is one of the best sources of early game experience in my opinion you can see how the even the coal is a little bit glowy ah but just look at how cool that is and just remember i'm over that way my my village not my town i keep on calling it a town thanks lo for telling me the audio is perfect i'm always worried um really appreciate it Hey, cow. 
but that's one of the things I like about Minecraft. It's just a chill game. You can just sort of zone out and just mine all the time. And you can see the sun is starting to go down with the long shadows. And this is what I was talking about. This is calcite. It's very easily mined. Um, but it's a pretty cool building block. I think it's much prettier than the dorite. Dorite is way too harsh of a of a white and sort of gray. Um, this is at least sort of it looks cloudy if I can call it that. I better take out my bed immediately. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's not night time yet. But oh my goodness, look at how glowy the water looks. It's so beautiful. But there we go. Um, I'm sorry, birdie. You can't sit on my shoulder while, while I sleep. <laughs> you are so cool. This is turning out to be very lucrative to come and mine in the hills. Like, what's the saying? There be gold in them, there are hills. <laughs> in this case, it's coal and iron. I think we might even be lucky enough to see some some emerald ore emerald ore is very rare so we, if we if if we are lucky we'll see some emerald ore is this the entrance to a cave it is okay let me just show you how deep and dark these caves can get Look at how the... What was that? What did you say? Huh? No. Okay, there are skeletons nearby because my birdie is making skeleton noises. Oh no, there's a creeper nearby. I am out. I am out. I am not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's terrifying. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Especially if the bird keeps on doing it, it's like a little false um positive if that makes sense uh it's like freaking me out more than i should be freaked out let's just get some iron <laughs> stupid bird <laughs> ah, but this is fun <laughs> Maybe if I get enough iron to craft a proper um, set of armor, then I will be a little bit less freaked out by the prospects of a creeper blowing me up. Um, earlier today when I was um, doing a bit of the um, cleaning up around the town, there was a thunderstorm. And the thunderstorm meant that creepers and stuff were spawning um, during the day. And that's really not a good thing. I love how the glow from the torch is so, sort of like a warm glow. It's so pretty. Yes. I sound like Owen Wilson going, wow. 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 Insert meme here. <laughs> Everything is pretty. Let's cool some iron. Should just watch out not to fall to my doom. Ooh, jeez. Lots of iron. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme coffee. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Thank you. Hello, birdie. I'm so glad you're my friend now. You're so cool. <laughs> there you go. Let's see how much coal have we gotten. 
we've gotten a fair amount of coal. But I promise you, if we get fortune, the amount of coal and stuff we will be getting will skyrocket. It'll be insane. Um, cool. Thank you. Also enjoy um, how RTX, if you go into a dark space, it's like the exposure of the camera changes. And if you come out of a dark space into a light space, it's overexposed for a, sort of like a second before the exposure adjusts. It's so freaking realistic and I really enjoy it. These mountains are so cool. Look at how awesome that is. Jeez. I really want a spyglass. We need to find a geode so that we can craft a spyglass. Spyglass glass is so useful. Uh, there's so much more jungle. That's awesome. Jungle that way, jungle that way. I don't want to jinx it, but it feels like some of the biomes are a lot easier to find in this update. Okay, okay, <laughs> jeez. There we go. Um, I th coal is also quite important at the moment for me because I don't have a lot of it. So a lot of this will just be me mining out some coal. I hope that's okay. This is quite a lot of coal. Um, so how how the ore generation works in the game is some ores generate in abundance the lower you go into the world. Um, and some ores generate more abundantly the higher you go. Um, but coal, for instance, generates at very specific ranges, including um, in the mount in the mountains so some of the biomes have their own um, sort of generation rules so coal will generate more the higher you go in a mountain biome but in normal biomes it'll generate um, up to a certain depth and the more well sort of in a, in a relatively stable um, e equal distribution that's what I want to say but there's a there's a nice graph that Minecraft um, shared of how the ores generate, and that's normally quite useful if you want to hunt for a specific ore. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm just going to explore and see what we find. Is ah, oh, I love how that glows. Again, Owen Wilson, insert meme here. Wow, wow. 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 <laughs> See what I mean? It's so glowy. It's gorgeous. Ah, oh, geez, more. Ah, Lord. It's a little bit difficult to see what what I'm doing in there, okay? Oh look, I've already got more than two stacks. That's very, very good. Uh, I just want to pop down a torch. There we go, and I want to create myself a nice little way of getting back up. So if I get some diamonds, which I won't get up here, diamonds only generate in the lower regions of the world. So um, if I keep on mining and exploring this mountain, I will definitely not get any diamonds so I should really go find find a cave and work my way deeper down into the world if I want to find some diamonds but um, yes 
if I, if I find some diamonds, preferably three, I can create a diamond pickaxe. If I get a diamond pickaxe, I can mine <laughs> some obsidian. Hey, Phoenix Niner. I hope you enjoy looking at this um, crazy Minecraft um, RTX. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Anyway. I need to quickly smelt some iron so that I can create a new um, pickaxe. My pickaxe just broke. So let's plop down a bed while we're at it. Uh, let's eat. Oh, okay, let's just throw some. Oh, I almost have a full stack of iron ore. Five, six, seven, eight. If I can find. Anyway. Why 11? Not anymore, hey? <laughs> For diamonds, it's now um, Y minus 58. It's way deeper now. Um, you, you will still be able to find some diamonds at y, y 11, but not as much. Um, the deeper you go, the more you get. But um, there are lava lakes at level Y 55. So I think for me, Strip mining will be the best at Y um, minus 54. Oh, I'm sorry, birdie. <laughs> that little birdie. Okay, I should have a some th so about three. Yeah, I've got enough to quickly craft a iron pickaxe. I want to quickly get one more iron ore to chuck in here and there it is come on there we go so then i've got a full stack and a full stack um gets smelted really nicely perfectly with eight coal so i want to just judge it nicely i'm going to leave all of my stuff there while that smelts and i'm going to keep on mining I think I should have enough um, iron, excuse me, um, for the hiccups. I shouldn't have enough um, iron for the hiccups. I should have enough iron for <laughs> um, a full set of iron gear by now. But these mountains are awesome. Trees, birch. So the only tree I'm actually missing is, um, what is it? I keep on forgetting. Um, look at that jungle over there. That looks like a little bit more of a plains biome. It's just more forest. But these densely planted forests are really difficult to walk through. So I don't necessarily want to go to them. Let's see how far that smelting is. Enjoy your war thunder. Um, yes, let me know how it goes with that um, app. That's still doing its thing. There's a lot of coal over here. I'm gonna get it. Gimme, 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 gimme. I bet when I get to town, I think there are um, there's a bunch of caves underneath my my village because I keep on hearing spiders. Um, and zombies right under my house. I am um, during the thunderstorm. I even heard um, a witch under my house, so that's a bit scary. So I think if I'm gonna put this little guy there, he's gonna end up. He's gonna end up. Look at look at that. I can make him sit. <laughs> He's going to end up um, making a bunch of noises the whole time. So he's going to 
freak me out quite a lot, I imagine. This smells very slowly. It's very weird. Okay. How are the things looking? We have a good amount, de decent amount of stuff here. But I still want to keep on exploring this mountainside. I want to see what's... See, there's a bunch of coal that I haven't mined out yet. Let's see what's on this side. There's a bunch of coal over there. There's a ton of coal over there. So it'll be good if I... Mm, iron. Um, if I get just a decent amount of coal at least, then I don't have to worry too much about smelting. And if we do go caving, I really, really hope we run into a... Um, a dripstone cave. Dripstone is amazing. You can do so much with... well... Not so much, but one very, very... Ooh, yay, I leveled up. One very important thing you can do with dripstone is you can create renewable lava. And renewable lava is, like, the best way of smelting all of your things instead of coal. Coal should be used almost solely for creating... Um, Torches, in my opinion. Especially if you go into these deep caves, because um, once you hit, hit Y0, no more coal will generate. Which means you will eventually run out of coal. Which is a bad thing. I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> But yes, this is Minecraft, people. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Just, a, it's in the name. It's mining and crafting. <laughs> Literally mining and crafting. That's the gameplay loop. Awesome. How much? Jeez. Look at that. That's a freaking amazing amount of coal. Look at the calcite. I did think the previous time I was in this area, I could have sworn I saw some um, green on the hills, which means there should be a, somewhere there should be some mm, emerald or ore on the cliff faces. There should also be gold. No, I think the gold is only in the mesa. Anyway. Ooh, pretty. Okay, awesome. Calcite. Too much coal. I'm gonna leave that coal for the time being. Let's go see how far my smelting is. Because if that, once that's done, I think I'm gonna head back to the village. Um, dump some of the stuff in a chest and go find a cave. This isn't done just yet, so I can mine a little bit more. Preferably iron. Uh, I didn't mine you. Okay, but I'm not gonna mine you all the way because I want iron. Iron, iron, iron. I'm gonna prioritize iron for a second. There's some iron. <laughs> See what that is. What did I tell you? 
there should be some emerald ore around. And we found it. It's not full. So I'm not going to mine the emerald ore for the simple reason that... Oh, there's two. I don't have... Um, I don't actually have fortune yet. Once I have fortune, I'll come back for this emerald ore. But uh, to be fairly honest, I don't need it. With the villager trading, villager trading is so o overpowered um, in this game. It's unbelievable. So I might not come back for it at all. I'll leave it to be pretty on the mountainside. Let's see. Ooh, almost done. Okay. We might have to sleep before we go back to town. But yeah, this was lucrative. One, two, three, four, five stacks of um, emerald ore, an entire stack of iron ore. It's fantastic. I'm gonna break that so long. Thank you. One more to go. There we go. Um, let's break you down. Okay, once we slept, we can head back to town, drop, drop off some of the stuff, and then go and find a cave. Also want to um, put little birdie. What what shall we call birdie? If if you're watching, I th I think so. If you're watching, um, you get get the special prize of naming my bird, the parakeet. This guy, where where is he? I'll show you. I'll show you just now. This guy, what shall we name him? What is his name? In the chat, come on, give us a name. Oh, there's a wolf. Look at the wolves. Look at the wolves in the background. Anyway, I should get some bones so that I can get myself a doggy as well. So, if you're watching, tell me what shall we name this little birdie. It is your special prize for watching. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about mining like everything right now because it's always good to have some stuff left over. That's that horrible cave we didn't want to go into. So, come on, give us a name. What's his name? And don't be, don't, don't, don't call him Polly. Please, like, let's give him some cool name. Come on, jump on my shoulder. Thank you. <laughs> What shall we name the birdie? Oh, sorry, birdie. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on chat and I'm waiting. <laughs> Oh, look at how beautiful these mountains are. Right? Just look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, you watching. <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> I know you know who you are. N name the bird on my shoulder, please. Not on my physical shoulder, in the game. Y you, yes, you. Thank you. <laughs> this bird, you see him. Give him a name. I want it in chat. I will name it whatever you tell me to name it. Okay, now we somehow have to get down here. <laughs> Maybe we can do like an MLG 
jump into the water. Oh no, there's quite an easy way of getting down here actually. Okay, where's my boat? There's my boat. Okay, let's go back to town. Check it out. It's so pretty. I'm having fun. But this is gonna start getting real serious the moment we head into the caves because it's gonna be scary. Ooh, there are some tropical fish over there. I saw them under the boat. Hmm. But I love this world spawn. It is probably the most beautiful world spawn I have ever seen. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get back into the boat. Sorry, sorry boat. We're back in town. Let's... Where's Polly? Is Polly on my shoulder? Where's Polly? No! I need to find my birdie. Where is it? No! Okay, apparently um, birds don't do well with water. It's supposed to um, fly to me. But it didn't. <laughs> uh, silliness. So I'm heading all the way back just for this birdie. Which still doesn't have a name. Come on, birdie. Oh, oh poor birdie. Come, 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 come. On my shoulder. On my shoulder. Come on, on my shoulder. Why don't you want to be on my shoulder? Why aren't you teleporting? Come here. Come here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. No, here. Hopefully he gets the picture. Come, he saw. Come here. Land on the ground. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Polly is on her shoulder, finally. Okay, he's not named Polly. You, please, give him, give him a name. Please, 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 give him a name. <laughs> you know who you are. If you want to call him Vicious or T-Rex or Bowser, I, 
I don't, I'm not gonna judge. Yes. Yes, he's on my shoulder. Sweet. Okay. I just want to get my boat back. Okay. Birdie is safely in the village. Yay. <laughs> Sugar cane is growing nicely. Where are you? Are you here? Yes. How do I get you off my shoulder? <laughs> I want you to sit on the bed or on a chest or something. <laughs> Don't you want to get off my shoulder? Oh, you see, that freaked me out so much. Oh, that little sound of a creeper igniting. Oh my, mm. Mm. you you hear? I I told you there are def there definitely must be caves underneath me, because otherwise why would Polly whatever his name is do that? Don't do that. No, this is gonna freak me out. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> Oh no, that's scary. <gasps> Don't dash, shut up. <laughs> uh, there we go, Polly is off of my shoulder. Whatever his name is. You still haven't given him a name. Come on, give him a name. Give him a name, please. Where is he? Where is he? Not on my shoulder again, is he? No. Oh, he's on the roof. Cool. You can come down. Maybe he'll come in. Yes, he'll come in. Did we give you... No, <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> he freaks me out so much. <laughs> He's basically a warning for creatures. Um, but it's pretty scary if he keeps on. Oh, it's night time. Uh, sleepy time, sleepy time. He's going to freak me out until I get rid of all of the Monsters, where is he now? Is he on top of the roof? Yeah, he's on top of the roof. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Please come in. Aren't you gonna come in? Uh. Why would you do that? <laughs> this thing is horrible. No, <laughs> you're like the worst, worst pet ever. You freak me out so much. But he's so cute. <laughs> Come on, look at that. Isn't that just cute? Okay, you, you'll have to just sit outside. I'm not gonna worry about you anymore. Come. Where are you? Oh, you're on my shoulder again, right? That's even worse. It's like the sound is then... You can sit right there. Uh, ah, you're gonna freak me out so much. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of good stuff to chuck into the chests. Uh, I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna keep that. That I have to chuck. You can go away. I think I have calcite already. You can go away, you can go away. Gravel, no, wrong chest. Okay, that I'm keeping, that I'm keeping. Dirt can go in there. And 
Gravel can go in there, and most of that can go in there as well. So I want to chuck this in there as well as that. But before we do that, I am quickly going to create myself a set of iron armor. As you can see, we have no armor right now and no shield. I am going to create all of that in one go. Helmet, yes please. Chest plate, yes please. Iron leggings, yes please. Iron boots, yes please. And finally, a shield, yes please. Thank you so much. That has cost me almost half a stack of iron. So worth it. Just check this out. Dunk, 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 dunk. Now I am geared. Yeah, I, I knew it. This thing is just gonna make noise and freak me out. This, this thing. I, I don't know if I like it. It's freaking me out too much. You are gonna be banished to the other side of town, I think. Right now. Come with me. <laughs> I can't have you at my house. It's gonna freak me out too much. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 straight to jail. Actually, you, you can be in, in the center of town. If you want to be on top of this thing, you, you are more than welcome to be there. But you will not, no, no, no. Uh. You're on my shoulder again. Okay, you can sit there. Stay. Freaking me out, man. <laughs> Not cool. Jeez, so not cool. I'm gonna create three more torches. And that means I have less. Okay, cool. And I should create some sticks. Well, that's enough. Okay, now I have enough resources and now we can go and geez look at how productive this pumpkin patch is let's quickly harvest and then go and get my caving on i'm so glad there's a uh, crafting table right there I can hear spiders below me and not okay right now I'm gonna put that stuff away and now we can go and find a cave to explore it is finally time goodness me I can leave the boat here for the time being because I don't think to go off of this continent. I might. I, I, the weird thing is I haven't seen a single wandering trader yet, which is weird. Usually they are, there are so many of them. That's my fishing rod. Um, and that's why I don't have a lead yet. But if I find a... Um, slime or two that I can kill, I will be able to take the horsey out for a spin. But I'm going to go in this general direction. 
waste and see if I can find a cave. I mean, I'm not going to go so far that um, I'm going to end up exploring the entire world. I mean, these worlds are huge. And there's a lot of jumping involved. See, that's why I kind of want the want a lead so that I can take the horse along because it's so much easier to traverse this landscape with a horse. Oh, okay, I don't see any caves. So uh, what I'm looking for is sort of surface level caves. I know there's that one in the center of my town, of my village, rather. I keep on calling it a town. It's a village. Um, I want to make use of that hole as sort of the starting point of a bigger sort of deep mine. So I don't want to open that up just yet. This looks promising. Oh, yes. <laughs> what on earth is this? That looks promising. That looks very promising. OK, cool. I think we have found ourselves the start of something. I don't have a proper bow yet either. Usually a good way of getting a bow early game is by doing a lot of um, fishing. I haven't really done a lot of fishing yet. And I don't know if I'm going to. Ah, oh, there's a zombie. Hello, zombie. Come on, I dare you. At least I have, a, I have an iron sword already. Um, but I am going to end up lighting up as I go. Haha, <laughs> crit. Critting on you. So once you're in the caves, it's not that important to sleep anymore, if I can put it that way. But this seems to go very deep. <laughs> That's scary. It's so scary. This is what I was saying. Um, glow lichen. And that's why I have the um, shears with me. Because I would like... I need a freaking... No. Nope. 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 I need a bow and arrow. <laughs> nope. Because creepers are best dealt with at a distance. I don't want to be dealing with a creeper um, up close and personally. Where is the glow lichen now? I just want no, no, nope, nope. I'm going back to town to get a bow. <laughs> I am I'm so sorry, but there is no way, <laughs> absolutely no way I'm going into a cave without a bow. <sighs> It's way too scary. It's just too scary. I wonder if I'm going to need my bed. I probably am. It's already time, really. OK, cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> the sun rising. I've been streaming for an hour and 10 minutes, I think, just about. I think it's cool. I'm not really done yet. I think I can still go for a little bit. I know I have a bow in one of those chests, or I think I do. And if I don't, I'm sure I have enough string to make one. All I need is three string, and I really hope I have three string. Let's see. No bow. Mm, no bow. String. Come on, give me string. No string. What? You are kidding me, right? Am I just blind? I honestly don't have any string. Fletchers, can you help me if I quickly level you up? Will you be able to give me a bow? Even if it's just a basic bow. Huh? 
Yes, I can buy a bow from you, but I need to give you a bunch of sticks. Um, you're already level 2, so I need to get you to level 3 by giving you that. Actually, I can already buy a bow from you. Excellent. Good news. Good news. But do I have any arrows? <laughs> no. Okay, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice in the matter. Um, I don't have any, any arrows either, so I'm going to be stuck without a bow anyway. Then maybe that's not the cave I should be caving in. It's way too steep and too dangerous. I can't retreat from the skeleton, well, from the creepers quick enough. I'm going to find something a little bit more surface level instead of a giant hole. I know there's this thing, but this doesn't lead to a cave. It just ends there. I'm going to try and see if I can find a cave on the side of these cliffs. God damn, it's scary if you go into those deep, when you go into those deep holes and a creeper is just heading towards you. <laughs> like it's, no, no thanks. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. Nothing over here. It's strange. Usually there's there's a ton of like little caves that haha intersect these things. Is this a good one or a bad one? It might be a bad one. It's way too dark, I can't see a thing. Oh, it's because it's also full of water, which isn't really gonna help us much. Okay, and I can hear a skeleton. Oh, it sort of goes up. Hello. Okay. Let's get out of here and find the next one. Well, there's the next one. Hopefully it's not one of these, like, rough guts. I don't know what else to call them. Ah, uh, little zombie. See, this is a little bit more manageable. No, baby zombie. Leave me alone. I saw a creeper on the other side of there. Um... And I have no idea where he is. And I have no idea if he's gonna kill me or not. But this also seems like one of those cuts. What is on his head? What? He's got a helmet. Ha ha ha. You can't attack me. You can't attack me. So zombies with helmets won't be able to take any... Well, they won't take any damage from the sun because they've got a helmet on, right? So this is a good spot, I think, to start, like, exploring downwards. It feels like it, at least. Um, because it seems like there's a... This is a weird hole that goes nowhere. No. Okay. But I think we have a start to a decent cave. That's not too scary. It just ends up being so... <gasps> no, I, that, I didn't want to do that. Oh no, oh no. Let me just dig myself out of that quickly. Hmm. The thing is, it can be so scary. And it gets really dark, like really, really dark. 
So, okay, let's do this one. <gasps> no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Part of the, the, the challenge with caves and cliffs is not falling to your death. <laughs> like, literally. Do I? I need a... Mm, I did something silly. I didn't bring any additional... Iron. Always bring some iron. So that you can... Oh, it sounds so creepy. Like, it sounds like it's right next to me. It freaks me out. It freaks me out. <laughs> okay, but that also sounds like a uh, drowned, by the way. Not just any old... Oh, yep, it's a drowned. Okay. Let's give you a path to get to me. And then let's kill you. Ha ha ha. It's a skeleton, but it's like completely submerged in water. Don't you dare. I know I'm torch spamming way too much. Um, I shouldn't need to torch spam that much. But I'm way too paranoid as well. Is this a good thing? No. This is that. Oh, look at that. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. So that looked like a glow squid. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. I can still explore that way. I'm leaving most of the coal alone. Hopefully I get some iron ore before I... run out of this um, pickaxe. Is this water? Oh no, it's water. Okay, unfortunately it seems like we have reached the end of this cave. And this guy's gonna attack me. He's got two things in his hands. How greedy is he? And he dropped both. Thank you. That's very kind of you, sir. Um... Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to achieve much in this one. How is that? Oh, it's a skeleton. So, of course, I was going to say, how is he still alive? He's supposed to be drowning, but he's already dead. So, <laughs> that clearly doesn't matter. Oh, there's a bit of cave here still that we haven't explored. Aha, this looks promising. This looks way better. Please don't be water. Oh, no, it's water. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, well, we'll just have to find another cave. At least I have plenty of coal, so I can keep on making um, torches. And I should sleep because it's getting dark outside. MLG cliff jump. Okay, so let's keep on moving. I've explored that one. Look, look at that. See right there. That looks like something. If I don't find anything on this side, I will most definitely go to that side. But these mountains are huge. 
The thing is, I want to try and go down. I don't want to be going up anymore. Down, down, down. I'm wondering, that looks promising. That also looks promising. So the reason it looks promising is it looks like the water level ends there. So there's a bit of a... No, zombie. You're going to die. There's a bit of an aquifer with a, with a nice... Um, waterfall. And a waterfall can be very useful to get yourself down into the bottom of a cave. But I am going to dig myself into this hole. And then I'm gonna kill that zombie. Ow! Ow! I just wanna see... <laughs> Look at that. Okay, but I don't just want to... I don't want to just go for it and go down. I want to see what's in here. Because this might be a better way of getting down there. Um, more water. Which is very frustrating. But um, at least this water source I can block off somehow. Yes, I can. No more water. Good. Okay. I'm gonna have to create some more torches. Okay, awesome. I've got a potato. I want a carrot. I don't want a potato. Um, glow lichen. I have my shears on me for a reason. Yes. So glow lichen is pretty cool. You can use um, bone meal to grow it. But this water source I also want to get rid of. I don't know where it's sources whatever it sources I'm going to kill it Very pretty. Oh, there's a zombie. Is he gonna come and attack me? He probably is. But that's okay, I've got iron armor. I should be well protected. Where is this water coming from? Good, the water's gone. Okay. So now I can dig all of this out. I want some iron. And I think I should also get myself an iron shovel. This is getting very tiring. Ah, there's some iron. Ooh, there's a good cave. That looks like a good cave. Uh, sorry for the torch spam. I am way too paranoid not to torch spam. Good. Good. Sword at the ready. Yes, I see you. I see you. I am definitely going to defend myself against you. Dead. Ha. Ah. 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 Skeletons. Uh, more than just skeletons. There was a creeper. I heard him. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, get some health back. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. <laughs> 
Why didn't the creeper come after me? Because they are notorious for, um, like, keeping at it, if that makes sense. They do not give up, usually. Okay, this is good. Perhaps he's on... Okay, I have a little bit of iron. Uh, let's quickly hurt this up. Get rid of the water. So a little trick I've learned is to place the torches on the left hand wall so that you always know if you follow um, torches on the left you will go deeper into the cave and if you follow them on the right you will get out. Let's get some more glow lichen. Yay! Um, yes. Oh, there's some more water. I keep on hearing more skeletons, and they are scary. Let's use some of that stupid dorite. Mm, gravel then. Okay, no time like the present to go and see what's in here. Actually, I am quickly going to swap that out. Okay. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, good to know. <laughs> There's a big hole there. Uh, how did the skeleton get past it? <laughs> I almost fell into that. That was scary. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so at least I'm... Ah! 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 Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Like, Minecraft is sometimes so peaceful, and then other times it's freaking terrifying. It's like a survival horror game at points. How did it get up? How on earth did it get back up? Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's just get this glow light. Okay, awesome. I need a new pickaxe ASAP. And I have two iron ore, I need one more. And for that, I will need to get rid of all of this water. So I think this is my best bet for getting... Oh, I have an arrow at least now. Thank you. the water is officially gone. And as I had hoped, this cave goes nice and deep. Oh my goodness, look at all of you. I don't want to bother you. Good day. I will get down some other way. But I've got that iron, so I quickly want to make myself a another pickaxe. Uh, let's just pop it over here and over here. That one and just one should do the trick. Let's see if there was anything I missed in here. I doubt it. I want 
to figure out a way of... I need to get some coal as well while I'm at it. But I want to figure out a way down here. Um, maybe I should just make myself a staircase. Staircase almost there. Plenty of iron and plenty of holes. Ah, ah, freaking me out. Oh my goodness. This is really not good. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. I will kill you, thank you. Just give me a second. Up oh, there's a creeper. See what I mean? Creeper go boom. Creeper go boom. So many creatures over there. It's not good. Not good at all. Okay, this is done smelting. Oh, before I destroy it, I need to make a pickaxe. Pickaxe, there you go. Um, if I get more iron, I need to create a shovel. And I need to somehow figure out how to go down there. Uh, we'll get there. Slowly but surely. Luckily, um, at this point in time, I don't really care about the day-night cycle anymore. If you're in a cave, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that noise you just heard is most definitely the noise of a Enderman, which is not to be messed with. At least I have some... Um, I have some armor without any armor um, like it's good night thanks for coming haha this is a good way of getting there hopefully i can ah something's behind me it's the enderman <laughs> Okay, that's not ideal. Enderman, don't freak me out like that. Jeez. You suck. You suck so bad. Yes, you can fight each other. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I love it. Fight one another. Ow. Okay, cool. That was good, sort of, to the best of my ability good, if that makes sense. Oh my lord, this is such a crazy cave. Doesn't feel like I'm getting to go down though. Not really going down much, but at least I have uncovered a bunch of resources that I need. Um, I'm okay with glow lichen because I can use bone meal on it. Um, right. There's definitely some iron to be had over here. Iron, iron, iron. And perhaps I should take some of that 
coal as well because I'm going to be smelting some of this iron to keep me going. Enderman, please get out of here. You are freaking me out. Because if I look at him in the face, he will straight up attack me and possibly murder me. This is a lot of coal. I don't mind that at all. I'm purposefully leaving the um, copper alone for the time being. I should perhaps take a little bit of copper for good measure because I am going to want some of it when I stumble across a geode. Because then I can make a spyglass like I mentioned in one of the previous episodes. And the spyglass will be very cool for us um, to look at things in the distance. That was a nice vein. The vein apparently continues. Please leave me alone, Enderman. Okay, let's go and see if we can get rid of that water down there. Because there is some extra iron underneath the water. Oh, this should be relatively easy though, because there's a stream. I don't think this is... We can just block off the stream. Okay. Okay, this goes up. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Freak me out. Where is it coming from? Was one of them. Here we go. I almost looked at the Enderman. Should I quickly kill the Enderman? I think I should quickly kill the Enderman. I am tired of him being in my way. So this is how you safely take down an Enderman. You make yourself a hole, and then you look at him. Come on. Haha, -ha, I angered him. Now I can hit him. Come on. Come on. There we go, he's dead. Woohoo! Okay. Um, there's some more iron. And some more coal. Okay, cool. Let's quickly smelt some iron. Oh, damn. That should be enough for that. And I should place down my crafting table. Let's quickly see if I can place down a bed and sleep. Uh, no, it's not night time. It's not night time. I love how the, even the furnace gives off a little bit of a glow. It's a pity that this goes up instead of down, right? But maybe if we follow it up, 
we get to a place where it actually does go down. Oh no, I need... I need torches real quick. Torches. Maybe it goes down somewhere. Uh, no, it's a dead end. But it's a dead end with iron. Let's grab the iron at least. Okay. I think... That one silly source was the reason this whole thing ended up looking the way it did. And that was the other source. Okay. Cool. That's enough for now. Let's craft a iron shovel. Okay, that's the first iron shovel of the world. Let's craft a iron... No, no, we don't need to. Not right now. Okay. I want to get down more in the world, and I don't know where... Well, obviously I don't know where. But we'll just have to keep on trying to find um, caves and exploring them until we do. Okay, cool. Iron is done. That'll teach me to remember to bring iron when I go caving, because it's an essential part of the caving experience. Shovel. And let's just put a torch there. Ooh, iron. Let's grab it. But I'm not sure if this is just if this is unexplored or if this is just a random bit in between some of the caves I've already explored. I think it's just a random bit. Yep, it's that bit. Okay. Now we need to follow the torches on the right hand side. So I'm going to go up here and then I will start following torches on the right hand side, which is here. Yes, where, where are we going? There. Ouch. I forgot I need to swap stacks. There we go. That went nowhere. This is that way. I've already explored that. Okay, so apparently we are done with this cave to a degree. I'm just going to sleep so that monsters don't annihilate us. It looked like it was night time when I looked up there. It's not. Okay. So at least we explored a cave. Um, actually, you know what? This might be exactly what we need to get down. But I'm I'm so worried that I won't be able to get out once I'm in there. <laughs> I know it's silly, but geez. It's a very scary deep cave. Hmm. 
I don't know. Let's go and see what that... Well, no. Let's just see what, what we can find. <gasps> no! Awesome. Mesa biome. We've got terracotta and there's a cave. I am heading there right now. That's awesome. I don't think it's a full-on mesa. I think it's a pocket... Well, what they call a pocket um, biome. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Mm, sorry. Wow, I nearly killed myself so hard. Look at how deep this hole is. And I fell right here. What? I shouldn't be this crazy. <laughs> what the hell? What the actual hell? Lionel, you're crazy. Okay. Okay, this is promising. No, 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 not too. Okay, there's... I hear a wandering trader. Or a... Or just a llama. You never know. Because I've seen these wandering traders spawn so deep. Ah, you've got a sword. Give me your sword. Thank you. So... What's... There's something glowing over, over here. Oh, it's... Uh, um, no. I was hoping it would go deeper, but it doesn't. So I can make it go deeper by doing this. Uh, also, no, thank you. I saw a creeper and that means nope. Nope, 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 nope. Spitty, this was looking pretty promising for a little second there. Um, although... I mean, there is a giant hole over here, which I can explore if I want to, but uh, getting in and out of holes is very problematic. Mm. <laughs> oh no, this is a proper, proper, proper mesa biome. Now, I was hoping that we would find one, but this close to spawn, that's so lucky. Usually these were very, very rare. Um, and you would have to go through quite a, um, an ordeal to find them. You would actually have to basically go on to chunk base or something like that to find them. And now I've just found it. Ooh, this is my, this needs to be my thumbnail. Thumbnail time. Cool. Mesa biome. That's so pretty. Man, oh man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a good thumbnail, I think. Cool. Squeak. Oh dear, sleepy time. But if I'm gonna sleep, I might as well. Oh wow, hold on. What a beautiful sight. Oh dear. Okay, 
Sleepy time. Sleepy time. I'm wasting a lot of time here, but this mesa biome is just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Awesome. Let's see if we can find a bit of a cave to go and explore. Oh, oh ouch, jeez. I keep on destroying myself. I should stop. But wow, look at how beautiful this is. It's so gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. I have never found a mesa biome on my own. That just shows you how awesome 1.18 terrain generation is. This is going to be cool. Yay! This is terracotta. Woohoo! I wonder if we're going to find a um, like a, a mine shaft poking out because mine shafts do tend to poke out over here. Um, but wow, look at this! Isn't that just amazing? It's so cool. Oh, oh, there's a cave. So the, these Mesa caves are a little bit different to the others, usually. But this is amazing. I, I, I am so lucky. Look at this. It's so pretty. Look at this. No, no, no. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, wow. So pretty. Reminds me of those caves. I think it's in Yellowstone National Park. Hello, viewer. Thank you for popping in. I just found a mesa biome. It's the most beautiful thing you have ever seen. And just for popping in, look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So... Just for popping in, I found a bird earlier, and you get to name it. Please give the little birdie a name. It's one of those typical parakeet birdies. This is, is this a jungle? This is a jungle. Of course it's a jungle. They're, they tend to be next to one another. So if you want to name it, please give us a name, something quite nice. Just please not Polly. <laughs> Yay! I think that's a great name. Squeak. Squeak will be its name. You are my squeaky, you are squeaky, my squeaky, and you will always be known as squeaky. Squeak is its name. Thank you so, so much. Don't... Thank you, Lo. That's awesome. <laughs> but look at this place with all the striations. It's gorgeous. I have never seen this before. And I'm not even far away from um, my village. So I am so lucky. If I can find a, a fjord that cuts through one of these, that would even be better. That would like make my day. It really would. Squeak is an awesome name. Okay, so I need to find a name tag so I can call my birdie Squeak. Wow, look at that. There's a nice um, bit of beach or should I say... Um, it's probably rather just some sand or beaches instead of being a, a desert. Oh, look at that.
I'm so distracted. Could this be a mine shaft? No, it's just a a cave cutting into it. But also not very friendly. What is that? Is that an exposed spider spawn spawner? That I think that's an exposed. Yep, that's an exposed spider spawner. Um, I am gonna use you. Thank you. This isn't. This is an exposed mine shaft. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. Actually, I want some of that. So we can turn this spider spawner. I th I can't see if it's a normal spider spawner or a um, a poisonous spider spawner. It's probably a poisonous spider spawner. Um, if it is, is that another one? No. What is that? What is that? So dark. What is that? It's gold. <laughs> <laughs> that freaked me out so much just then. If we are lucky, we'll find a, a chest, a minecart chest. If we could find a minecart chest, I would be very, very, very happy. Okay, this is cool. Um, this is worth it. This is so worth it. Because not only are we going to be able to f get some um, some rails, look at how shiny they are. That's so beautiful. I am blown away by this. Okay, cool. I want to make sure this guy does not spawn a single thing. We have hit jackpot. Because this will be a great source of early game XP. And... This shaft, mine shaft, will be um, also, well, hopefully we can get some, some good stuff out of it. Hopefully we get some glowberries or some moss. Um, it's awesome. We are so lucky. So, so, so lucky. There is definitely something down there. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cave there. Scary, scary, scary. More mine shaft. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a dead end. But that's cool. So this is more... Um, just... So, oh, jeez. Hello. Um, also, uh, a little bit of a tip. Never back into a dead end. Um, it's bad for you. Bad for your health. Oh wow, this is a, a lot. There's a lot of gold here. This is a big cavern. It's very scary. I think I'm gonna go back to the safety of the walls of the <laughs> um the halls of the mine shaft because I think that's a little bit more controllable. Definitely, definitely. Mine shaft, thank you. Uh, let's see. More gold. More mine shaft. Ooh, okay. What I do with these is I break the corners out so that I can see what's on the other side. And then I usually chuck a torch over there and over there. And okay, I've been here to a degree, but I've not been there. And now I'm out of torches, so I'm going to back up a little bit and make some torches quickly. D -d 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 torches. This is awesome. I am so excited. I hope we get a chest. Um, a chest with some nice goodies in it. We should. These things tend to be quite huge. There's more. This thing is crazy. See what I mean? 
but no um interestingly enough no mine mine cards with chests in them so far okay that's back that's deeper minecraft minecart i said minecraft of course it's minecraft hello the, the name of the game silly billy but I just want to light up this place quickly before I look in the chest. I hope we get some good stuff in the chest. Please give me a music disc. That would be like so lucky if we get the music disc with um, the new Lena Rain, I think is her name. Please, please, please. Damn. Name tag. Yay. Okay, that's good. A name tag is always welcome because uh, what am I going to throw away a potato I don't need it um, an activator rail melon seeds I don't need it um, I do want the activator rail so that's definitely going to come with me the terracotta not so much let's just put the terracotta somewhere quickly I mean it's not yeah And that's why I wanted to do that, because I wanted... What, what did I pick up that I didn't want? That I don't want, that I don't want, that I do want. So what else can I throw away? Uh, maybe the iron helmet, because it's sucky anyway. And then I'm going to break that. There's two more things I need to get rid of. Maybe I can quickly just combine the minecart and the thing again. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, what did I pick up that I don't want? The braid. Okay. I want the gravel I can get rid of. The rail. Because if I pick up the rail, I can pick up all of the rails going out. Because I think I'm done. I think we have pushed our luck far enough. I'm just going to get me some Minecraft minecart rails. What are they actually called in the game? Rails, just rails. Give me some rails, and then I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna quickly name Squeaky, Squeak. His name is Squeak. He squeaks at me often. I would never have thought of that name, so I'm so glad someone did. Oof. There's more. I'm gonna do this. This is the only way I will know that I haven't explored here yet. This is also right, but I want to go that right. So this where these four torches are is where I still have to explore. But these rails are quite expensive, so I'm happy to take them now. And then later, once we have um, established ourselves a little bit more, looks like it's night time. Let's sleep quickly over there. Once we have established ourselves, we can come and make a spider spawner. It's, uh, an XP farm from this spider farm. Ugh, bleh. I can English sometimes. I promise. <laughs> yes, we can make uh, an XP farm from that. And make good use of it. This guy is going to die. Thank you. There's some more um, mineshaft over here. That's so interesting how it's... There's a lot of mineshaft left. That's so cool. Um, so much for finding diamonds, right? <laughs> oh well. I think we've found a lot of cool things though. I mean, finding a mesa, especially one with these sort of windswept crevices is very cool. That almost looks like it could be part of the mine shaft. Could this be part of the mine shaft? No, but there are some bones and some arrows, and I want that. Awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. 
let's go home and let's go and enchant that name tag so that we can... Where's my boat? Did I lose my boat? I didn't bring it. That's right, I never brought it. There's a gigantic cave right there to explore. I am not going to chop down any jungle wood now because I don't have space in my inventory. That looks like a gigantic cave to explore in a next episode. Ouch. I just want to go and have a look at it. Yep, this looks like something I can explore. It goes that way and it goes this way. Okay, cool. It might be nothing. Excuse me, hiccups. Um, it might be nothing, but it might be something. We'll see. At least when we get back to the village, I can drop off the stuff that... Oh, jeez, there's that huge hole I almost died in. Um, and give that... Make use of that name tag. And name the birdie. Oh, Lord. There's so many... If you're not, like, actually looking at what you're doing sometimes in this game, you can quite easily just fall into a gigantic hole and die. Uh, but yes, we're going to use some of the nice experience levels that we got and use the name tag that we found and give our birdie a name. Ouch. Let's eat a little. What is down here? Nothing. It doesn't look like anything. No, it's nothing. It's just a weird hole. That's also a weird hole. Almost home. It'll be good to be home. Maybe one day, when I can afford it, I'll get an editor to edit these streams down into like 10 minute videos. So I know people don't like watching an entire stream of me just doing silly mining. Um, and I sure as hell don't have the time to do it myself, unfortunately. I'm home. I've got so much loot. Good loot. Bad loot. Me. Good loot. Me. Um, good loot. Good loot. Now you can stay in my inventory. Good loot. Great loot. Uh, good loot. No. You. And you. And you. And the rest of you can go in here. Oh dear, if I even have space. Um, yep. 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 Uh, do I have? No. I do have some of you. I do have some of you. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay. And you can go in this. You two can go there. I need more food. Um... I suppose you should stay here. Excellent. I don't have an anvil. Okay. <laughs> in that case, in the next episode, we will give a name. No, maybe I do have enough. Hold on. Let's see. I need three. I need three blocks of iron and four normal iron. I will have enough 
to make a anvil. Yay. Okay, cool. We are going to name this bird right now. No waiting. So I'm just going to go find a little housey somewhere that ha doesn't have a specific um, function just yet. Not that one. Maybe one of those. So I know that one has... Okay, this is a good one or even better this one with the... Uh, it's got a grindstone in it. Okay, or that one. Just pick a house, Lionel. Oh, look at all my villagers. They're all congregating around the center of town. You are getting a name. And your name is going to be Squeaky. Or just Squeak, rather. And this is also going to give me a, another villager profession. Ta-da! Anvil. Let's see, does the anvil get little green bobblies over it? No. Okay. Let's put this in and we are going to name it Squeak. S-Q-U-E-A-K. -E Squeak. Squeak is its name. Cool. That's so awesome. Okay, now we just need to make sure we don't give the villagers, one of the villagers a name. Listen, listen to how freaking much noise this thing makes. Squeak, you are now Squeak. Its name is Squeak. That's so awesome. Squeak is its name. I Squeak, Squeak. <laughs> Stop it, Squeak. You're freaking me out. <laughs> I think that's the, like, takeaway from this episode. Everything freaks me out. Okay, awesome. Yay. We have a bird. We gave it a name. We found some caves. It was a bit scary, but we managed to do some things. So that's cool. Um, I am going to... I'm going to leave it there for the day. Um, hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Yes. No more intros and outros. I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Um, yes, thank you for watching. It was so much fun. I enjoyed it. Hopefully in the next episode we get to do more stuff um, and go and explore deeper in the caves and find some diamonds. Hopefully we found a birdie. We gave it a name Squeak. Um, thank you, Lo, for this the name suggestion. I love it. I would have never thought of the name myself. So awesome. And yes, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next video. Bye.